Hello you person, do you struggle with painting clouds? Today we are breaking down how to paint clouds step by step. I'm going to be focusing on techniques rather than just teaching you how to paint one specific cloud. Watch until the end to see how we will integrate all of this into one massive cloud. But first, we need to paint the sky. The sky forms a gradient from light to dark. And quickly comment below what brought you to this specific video. Right, let's head to the clouds. We will start with clouds that are the highest. First up, we're gonna look at wispy clouds. Yes, seriously. For these clouds, you will only need a white and a blue. I am using cyan. Wispy clouds are not completely white everywhere, so we need to mute the color a bit. Start out by mixing the color of your sky and add a little bit of white. Take this color and lightly paint the shape of your clouds. Now use the same color, you do not need to wash your brush in between, add a little bit of white. Then add this color inside of the outlines that you just painted. Continue with this process, adding white and lightly painting it in. I know you'll do great. If you're unsure, use a reference image to guide you. Avoid going darker than the sky. These clouds are generally too thin to cast any shadows. One cloud done and dusted, let's go to the next cloud. Contrails. I honestly did not know this word until I actually made this video. You can paint contrails using the same technique that we used previously, but I want to show this technique to you as well. As the name implies, make sure that your brush is completely dry before you start. Take some of that lighter color that you already mixed. And then dab any blobs of paint onto a piece of paper or paper towel. Contrails are narrower the further away they are, so start by angling the brush parallel to the trail above the horizon and rotate it while following the line upwards. You can vary the lightness of the colors and the brushes that you use to get the effect that you want. You can even use this technique for wispy clouds. Now that you have completely mastered high level clouds, let's flow down to medium clouds. Nimbus Stratus. Hey, not all clouds are cute and fluffy and individualistic, okay? We start by mixing gray. We need blue, red, yellow and white. And for crying out cloud, do not use black. Mix all these colors together until you get a bluish, reddish, yellow color that is more purple and more saturated than black. Haha! -ha. Add white to that. Paint this light gray onto your canvas, varying the lightness of different sections. You don't even have to wash your brush in between. Let's add a cloud in front, using the technique from cloud 1, except this cloud needs to be darker because it's thick enough to block light. So instead of lightening the grey each time, we just darken it a bit each time. Now we are tackling Alto Cumulus. These clouds are different from Soprano Cumulus in that they are thin, round 
and come in packs. We are going to take the same concept as before and add another dimension to it. Start by mapping out the clouds again and make the clouds that are further away smaller. Some will hide a bit behind their friends. Build the color layer by layer again, getting lighter. Make sure that every cloud looks just a little bit different. Now that you have crafted a whole collection of little floofs, it's shadow time. These clouds are thick enough to block a little bit of sunlight. Mix a light number stratus grey, blue and some white. Now add it to the underside, making sure that, again, not one cloud is the same. The top parts stay white because the sun hits them and some clouds are hiding behind others a bit. For a finishing touch, take some of your sky blue and add it between the clouds with a small round brush. There are lots of different clouds and mastering even one type is already pretty amazing. Good job! Now we look at low level clouds, so next up, Cumulus. Also known as cute, fluffy, individualistic cloud dumplings with more clearly defined edges. Trace out the clouds with a slightly lighter blue. These clouds have flat bottoms and cauliflower-like tops. Make the clouds that are further away smaller. Add some white to your blue and fill the clouds in. Now take some of that grey you have mixed and paint the bottoms of the clouds. The undersides are darker because they are too thick for sunlight to pass through. Mix grey with your light blue to blend the shadows into the clouds. Now let's add more colour. Add a tiny little smidge of yellow to the mix. Paint this colour on random lighter parts of the clouds. Now play around with all of the different colours you have mixed to add more dimension to your clouds. If you feel like you're not quite getting it yet, don't give up, just keep practicing. Just think about how cool it will be to finally paint that perfect cloud. Now it's time for the final boss, Cumulo Nimbus. Cumulo Nimbus clouds have even more defined edges. And think of this cloud as a bulging 3D object, almost like a fractal. It's like the normal cumulus cloud, but different sizes all mushed and stacked on top of one another together. Follow the same steps. Outline with blue, fill in the white at the tops, add the grey to the bottom. And now the fun begins! Cover your brush with blue-grey paint. Dip the tip of the brush into some white. Hold your brush at an angle when painting, so that both of the colors are applied. Keep the tip of your brush facing the top of the painting. Now we paint half circles of different sizes. We can start playing around with the colors a bit. You can change the hue that's on the body and on the tip of your brush. You don't really need to wash your brush in between. The more hues, the merrier. You can even add small amounts of yellow again. Like this video if you're excited about this technique. We aren't done yet. Oftentimes, the shapes inside the clouds are outlined with a bit of grey. A real-life silver lining, perhaps? Take a small round brush. The grey that you use now should be lighter than the grey at the bottom of your clouds. Outline the brightest shapes in the clouds with this grey and blend them into the colours around them.
keep on fidgeting a bit with your clouds and adding some definition, adding some details and keep on practicing your cloud painting. You'll be a master in no time.